Floyd receives a 6% raise on his hourly wage of $9. One month later, he was awarded a 2% increase on his new wage for being Employee of the Year. To the nearest cent, what is his current hourly wage? Okay, so Floyd, our Employee of the Year, has actually two problems that we have to do. The first thing we have to do is take his old wage and find out what his first raise was. So he started with a $9 salary. There's your 100 goes in there. And I know a 6% raise, remember a raise is added on to the original, and the original is always 100%. So 106 is his new salary or new hourly rate. Okay, so question is, I need to know not what his raise was, but what his new salary is. So I'm not going to use this one, but I will, again, with a calculator, take 9 times 106 divided by 100. Um, remembering on your calculator, you do not have to hit equal at the end of that. You can just do it in a straight row and do 9 times 106 divided by 100. That gives me $9.54 for his new wage. Okay, now, a month down the road, we have a new problem. He has now, his original salary is $9.54. There's your 100, and he's got a 2% increase, or another raise, which means also a raise is added to your 100%, so 102% is going to be his second new salary. Again, using your calculator, because I need the raise, I don't need the raise, I need the new price. I'm going to take the $9.54 times the 102 divided by 100. And again, remember, you do not have to hit equal at the end of that. And you will get $9.73. If you had done the 2% raise, then you would have come up with 19 cents. And if you had taken the 954 plus the 19, you would have gotten what his new salary of $9.73 is. A computer system is on sale. For $998. If the sales tax is 6% and a special sale gives an additional 10% off all computer packages, what will the total price of the computer system be? Okay, the original price of the computer system is at $998. Okay, the sales tax is 6%. But I can't use the sales tax yet because I don't actually know what the sale price is yet. What I have to do is I have to figure out the extra 10% that I get off, which of course means 90% is going to be paid, and there's my 100. So I need to first of all find the sale price, so I'm not going to use the 10%, and I will be using the 90% times. So, again, with your calculator, the 998 times 90 divided by 100. If you want to do some cancellation, one zero in the top will cancel with one zero in the bottom. And when you multiply that together, you will come up with $898.20. And that is the 90% part which is what you're going to pay. So now, the second part of the problem, I'm going to have to set up another grid. 
the $998 becomes the total. $898.20 is my sale price. Then I have to do my 6% tax. And a 6% tax, remember, tax is added on to the 100%, so I have 106 that I'm actually going to pay to get out of that place. And then the 100 stays the same. Okay, I am not looking for the tax, I'm looking for the price. So I'm not going to use the 6%, so I'm going to take the 898.20 times the 106 divided by 100. That, of course, if you use your calculator, is $952.06, 9 cents, excuse me. So, after the sale price and an additional 10% off and some sales tax, I finally end up paying $952.09.